Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is where I left off, except I think there was a creeper right over there. Um, <laughs> you'll notice my horse is missing and also my hole and also my inventory is in creative. There's a reason for that. This is a copy of the world. This is not my actual world. Um, when I was recording, I recorded all my episodes at once because that's typically what I do just because I um, I don't have time otherwise to do these things. I'm just going to pillar up a little bit higher so I can see a little further. I'm not sure why my render distance isn't quite what it should be. Okay, now it's starting to render in further out. <clears throat> so what I decided to do, I yeah, start at the beginning. My uh, video when I was recording, for some reason, only this episode got corrupted. And it was very strange. I noticed it. Uh, my game actually crashed and Fraps crashed. Fraps is what I use for recording software. Um, Fraps crashed and I noticed that. So I uh, stopped recording at that point. I, I was stopping each at the end of each recording, the only exception being uh, days six and seven, which will be episodes seven and eight. I have to just split those because I lost track of time. And didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, didn't take care of the uh, split like I should have. So at any rate, long story short, my game crashed, my fraps crashed. I lost the recording. I have done everything I can to bring it back. And the AVI file is just corrupted and there's no fix to it. So what I'm going to do is just give you a kind of a quick rundown of what I did in that episode. And then I'll just leave off where I started on the next one. Um, so at least you'll still get this episode. It's, you know, I'm not going to uh, include any more spoilers than what were in the actual episode. But at least I'll share what I did uh, accomplish in that that episode. So when I started out, my horse was in a little box over here. There's a creeper over here and I jumped down off of my pillar here. Oh, and I started to say um, the village I spotted off in the distance, jumped down off my little pillar, grabbed my stuff, grabbed my horse and uh, took off because I didn't have, uh, I didn't have any arrows. Course, I had just the. I'm just gonna run. I mean, I can fly because this is creative mode, but I'm I'm just gonna try to stay a little bit true to the, you know, the game a little bit here, and just kind of. Since I'm in creative, I don't have to worry about mobs this time. In the um, episode, I did. Um, oh, I did the same thing I just did there. I almost jumped into that hole. Um, I did get exploded by creepers at least once, and I believe that was later on, though, and I'll try to remember what point that happened at. Um, so I got over here, spotted the village, was very excited to spot the village. Because the build I'm doing, I do want to be near a village, and this is a good-sized village, if you look around. Um, and I grabbed a few crops. Went in, I think this is just the church. I think I did go in here and, like, check out the... Oh, there's floating torches. That's interesting. I don't remember that. So maybe I didn't check out the church, but you know, it's nothing that's going to be a huge, big spoiler for anybody. So yeah, there's the church. At least I always call it a church. Maybe it's just a house. Who knows what it's actually supposed to be. It looks like a church to me. Just the way it's shaped, I guess. That or it's just a fancy house. So oops. Oh, I got some seeds out of the deal. And I just went around. I checked out all the buildings. Hello, Mr. Villager. He wants paper for emeralds. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> He's got some good trades, unfortunately. It doesn't do me any good. Um, it wouldn't have anyway. I didn't have any emeralds, of course, in the, when I was recording. So, you know, like I said, I putzed around. I checked out all these houses. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, there's not a whole lot to see in this village. It's kind of small. You know, the usual little one-room house. A couple of those, a couple of cows wandering around. Um, I did grab some carrots out of this garden here. I didn't bother collecting the books. They do have a, a library. I did not get the books. <laughs> Silly villager. So, at any rate. Because I knew I didn't think I was going to get to a... Uh, to the point of actually doing... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, that's the book room. 
Um, I didn't think I was going to get to the point of doing any enchanting. There's a bunch of seeds and stuff floating around. Chickens. I think I picked up a couple of eggs along the way, but I didn't see any pumpkins, so it was not really that great of a deal. Um, there's no blacksmith shop in this village, which was a real disappointment. I was, you know, I found a village. I was really excited. I was like, yay, I might find something good in the, in the blacksmith shop, but as it turned out, they don't have one, so I got gypped, which kind of stunk. So yeah, that happened. After I left the village, um, I didn't want to stay near the village because obviously because of zombies and so on. Um, I don't want to destroy the village. I wanted to actually... Um, ooh, oh, there's a cave, right. Oh, I did go a little way down. I didn't go very far into this because I didn't really need anything. But I did kind of go down into this cave a little bit just to see what was down here. Um, so I'll just do that quickly. And uh, I think it, come out, it comes out here on the other side as well. I did find that little bit of iron. And yeah, it's, it looks like it's pretty. And I don't, I did not go down here because I believe there were mobs. There was something hanging out down there. And I said, nope, I'm out. So I ran away. <laughs> And it was not yet getting dark. I saw the pig, so I am going in the right direction. So I'll be roughly where I left off when I stop here. Um, let's see. I kind of went down around in here. And while I was walking around, I was talking about in my town that I grew up in, um, there was in a little amusement park. And it was called uh, Carousel Mountain. And that was like a big thing when I was a kid. That you know, I, I grew up in a very country uh backwoods sort of town and that was a big deal for us and in fact the town that i live in um, is known as the capital uh, the carousel capital of the united states and it's because we have some of the um i think we have all, the most original carousels here um thanks to uh indicat johnson is the name of the company but uh, Mr. Indicott and Mr. Johnson were the two that, that uh, founded this shoe. It was a shoe company, of all things. It was a shoe factory. And these guys, um, I think it was Mr. Johnson, that when he was a little boy, uh, they, there was a carousel in the town. And he, that was like the big thing to do was to go to the carousel. You know, when he, when he was a kid, that was the big exciting, you know, hey, let's go to the carousel, you know, uh, thing to do. So... He would go, but it cost 10 cents to get in, and he didn't always have the 10 cents. So he vowed as a grown man, and, and when he started his own business and so on, I'm trying to locate where I actually ended up settling. I think I was, I'm not even sure. I'm not even going to worry too much about it, because you'll see in the video where it's not, there's nothing super exciting that I discovered aside from the village. Um, so at any rate, he decided that if he had his way, um, nobody would ever be turned down a ride on the carousel again. That they they should always be able to ride the carousel if that's what they you know the kids would, ought to have that opportunity. So he, um, as a grown man and as a business owner, um, he actually brought carousels to the area. And the area I live in, Indicott and Johnson City, are the two cities that are very close together. Um, we have, I believe there are eight or ten carousels now. I, I, I don't know all the history, but I do know that because of Mr. Johnson, they will there will never be a fee. He donated these carousels to the town, and there's never going to be a fee to ride these carousels. They're, they're free to the public. And it used to be that you had to pick up a piece of trash in the park where the carousel is and bring the trash to the carousel operator and put it in the, you know, in the trash barrel, of course. And that was the fee for riding the carousel. And these days they just allow you to ride the carousel. But there, it's a stipulation of the gift that, that he made to the uh, city that there can be no fee um, to ride it. So I wish I could remember. Okay, I think it was right down here, maybe? I know there was some water. I know there was water where I settled. Um, so at any rate, that it was kind of a neat story, and that was that was what I talked about during, and be, that has bearing on my build, which you will see in time when uh, we get that far. 
darn it, I wish I could remember exactly where I settled because I could show you where I put. But you'll see when I when I get to the next episode, which will be next week um, or whenever that comes around again. I walked around quite a bit here, just like I'm doing now, looking for a suitable place to uh, make my build. He said, I didn't want to be too close to the village because I didn't want to uh, attract zombies and so on. But I didn't want to be too far away because I kind of wanted to build somewhere near the village. I wish I'd written down my coordinates now um, to where I left, where I had my... I'm just going to fly a little bit. I don't want to be too cheaty here, even though I'm... Like I said, I'm in creative mode. Yeah, here comes a creeper. Hey, Mr. Creeper, you jerk. I did not get whacked by a skeleton, thankfully. Give him a pop, though, because they're jerks. <laughs> Creepers are the biggest jerks. I got blown up like three times in this episode, which really was kind of a pain. But as I got settled in, I parked my horse. Oh, see, that's why I wish I could find the spot, because I I parked my horse and I made like a little cave, or I found a little hollow near where I decided to settle. And um, I put my horse in there and blocked him in. And I got stuck in a block and almost died. I can't remember if that was this episode or if it was the other one. But at any rate, oh wow, it's Creeper City out here. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm in creative. Holy cow, look at it. And see, this is Mob City out here. This is, this is a, this is quite an area. So yeah, anyway. Um, hmm. I know I was kind of up on a hill. That's why I keep going back to this hill. Because it seems like it was like right in here somewhere. But I'm not positive. So it doesn't really matter. You'll see when I get to the next uh, episode where I ended up exactly settling. And it was very close to the village. And it was in a little... There was a little alcove like this. And like I said, you'll see it when I get that far um, in my next episode. Uh, the day will kick over here shortly anyway. So like I said, I'm not going to go... I think I'm going to go ahead and leave off there. I did, you know, like I said, I toured the village. That was, you know, what I did during my episode. Um... Not a whole lot there, but it's a nice little village. And then I went out and found a place to uh, to start my build. So that was that was my big exciting <laughs> thing that I got done, and my my big exciting story about the about the no, carrots is where I left off. So and the time's gonna kick over anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop there. But yeah, that was the uh, that's my missing episode. I apologize for the. Uh, the derpiness of having to do it this way. Um, like I said, I don't think I gave away any extra spoilers that weren't in my actual, you know, episode that got fried. So, and the rest of the episodes came out fine. I've already got them uploaded to YouTube. I just got to edit, edit in the intro and the, you know, the little, little heart at the end that I put on all my videos and then, you know, we should be in good shape. So that's it for today, guys. And hopefully, uh, Hopefully we're all having a good time with this challenge and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Be kind to one another. Bye-bye.